Buying a home is not that difficult, but not knowing what to do makes it all the most difficult. The property goes through a process that needs to go through, through the state, and once they give you the call and be like, hey, you're on record, you're good. That is your house now. How to buy a home? How do I buy a home? Well, here's how you buy a home in 2023. Now onto the list. Number one is determine your budget. You want to consider your debts. You want to consider all the income that you have, all your payments, things like that. And you want to make it easy on yourself and you want to, you know, put that into light. You want to not forget about what you can actually afford. And I would stress this uh, and I would say, hey, you know, you should speak to a preferred lender. Uh, either one that your realtor recommends, myself, or even if you have friends, shop them around, obviously the lenders, but talk to a preferred lender that you know is going to help you and they can help uh, navigate and guide you through the financial aspects of the real estate world. They can tell you, hey, you know, you have this and this and this going on in your life. So, you know, the mortgage lender can say, hey, you know, this is your budget. But tell me, where do you want to be paying? Where do you want to be monthly on a payment for a mortgage? And they'll, hey, they'll help you see all the options that you have available, whether it's multi, singles, condos, you know, condo fees or things. They're going to be able to help you with all that stuff. So determine your budget and, uh, you know, you can use a preferred lender to help you determine that budget. Know your options is number two. Know your options. Guys, look at all the options you have available in every single situation that you do. Uh, in the city, you want to look at condos, you know, and uh, outside of the city, maybe you want to afford a condo, maybe you want to afford a multifamily, and you want to live off the tenants, you know, the tenants can pay your mortgage sometimes. You want to have a single family, you say, I want to raise my family, I want to have a single family in the backyard, my dog, all that stuff, I don't want to deal with nosy neighbors. Okay, that's your, you should do that. Consider your options and see where you can afford that. All right, so know your options and, you know, educate yourself on what you can afford and where, all right? So that is number two. Number three, make an offer. You found the home that you love. You eyed it. You're like, I did all my research beforehand. I determined my, my budget. I know my options. This is my home. I found a single family or a condo or a multifamily. Like I found something that I love. Make an offer. Use a realtor. Make an educated decision. Make an educated offer. Have your realtor run the comps. Have your realtor look at the, the you know the lowest price you can get at the highest price, the situation, how many other offers are there, all this. He, this is his job. You tell him, say, hey, realtor, hey, Javier, hey, poke me, poke me, poke me. I want you to tell me what I can offer and what is the best offer. What options do we have? And you're gonna, he's going to give you a, a rundown. He's going to give you all the scenarios and how all, every offer can run. So don't be afraid to, to ask your realtor that. He's, it's his job and he should be wanting to help you. He should be doing this. So. Make an educated offer. Number four is consider a home inspection. Me personally, I strongly consider home inspections, but I would say it's a case by case basis. Some homes are recently renovated and have everything brand new in the house. Uh, and if your realtor walks through with you and says, hey, you know, this home, you could get an inspection, you could not, I think you'll be okay. It's based off of like knowing your areas, knowing the renovations, knowing what's got fixed, what got, what didn't get fixed. Your realtor can find all, all that information. And by walking through your realtor, like myself, when I had a client, I walked through the property, the property was recently renovated. So I was like, I was going in thinking, hey, it doesn't really need a home inspection. But I went to the basement and I found some rot in the beams. I said, hey, 100% get in a home inspection. You want to protect yourself. You want to see, you know, because a home inspection isn't just knowing what you need to fix and what is wrong with the house the next 10, 15, 20 years or immediately. The home inspection is also used as a clause so you can protect yourself. Say if the repairs go beyond $15,000, you, you're at a forty, fifty thousand dollar mark. You can back out of the offer, get your full deposit back. So consider a home inspection. Your realtor will guide you and, and give you the best educated decision that you can make. Most of the times they will consider it, and some of the times they'll say you don't really need it. It's your decision. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if this is my professional opinion. Yeah. Number four, get a home inspection and consider one. Five, negotiate repairs, but use that with caution. I can't stress that enough consider repairs but use that with caution say you get a home inspection or say you walk through the property and you made the offer they accept your offer the home inspection comes back and there's a bunch of issues with the house but you really want the house regardless your realtor can go back and try and negotiate the repairs and i say use this with caution because if there's a property that has no offers on it it's been on the market for a while and you want to negotiate the repairs yeah go for it you know uh, let's get the most out of it that we can and, and the best for you which is the client the buyer you want to get the best 
possible deal. You want to feel like everything is important and your realtor is going to be like, hey, this is very realistic. We can do this. Or is going to say, let's let me try. Like, I'm not sure to be realistic with you, but uh, let's try. Um, and, and in some situations, it's like there's, you know, backups of like 30 other offers were thrown. There's three backups and you're like, oh, I want this bathtub knob to be changed. All this stuff. You nitpick everything. The seller's just going to turn around and be like, all right, give them the deposit back. We're going to go to the next one. So these are things that you just need to consider. Obviously, your realtor is going to guide you throughout the whole thing. But I, I would say just in the back of your mind, just have that knowledge of like just the situation. Just consider the situation. OK, guys, so that's number five. Number six, finalize the mortgage. Here's a tip. Do not make any purchases while you're in contract for buying a house. Do not make any purchases. Do not buy a car. Don't do anything. Finalize a mortgage. Your mortgage lender will advise you and guide you throughout this whole process. And they're going to tell you what to do, what not to do. But I can't tell you how many times client has had to extend closing or even loses their deposit and doesn't get the house. I've heard horror stories. My clients, thankfully, has never happened to me. But uh, they, they'll buy a car and they'll just lose the deal, lose the house because they bought a house, their DTI, which is debt to income ratio, how much debt you have versus how much income. The banks use that primarily because they want to make sure they can afford the mortgage. They can't do it. So make sure you finalize a mortgage and, you know, talk to your lender and your attorney a lot. And number seven is closing. You're going to the closing table. You're going to sign all the paper, man. Dot the I's, cross the T's, and you're going to sign the documents. Give your final check, your final escrow deposit check for the home, and you're scot-free. You're going to get the keys once it, uh, the, the property goes through, you know, all the process that needs to go through, through the state. And once they give you the call and be like, hey, you're on record, you're good. That is your house now. Buying a home is not that difficult, but not knowing what to do makes it all the most difficult. And I think I forgot a point here. Get a very good attorney. And your realtor is going to recommend a good return, uh, attorney. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm uh, talking really fast here because the wind got really a little bit chilly and the sun's really coming down. Guys, the other day I was in uh, Puerto Vallarta. The center is called um, Malecon. And I saw a beautiful whale right outside. Like I was just walking the pier, I looked out, bam, spouting all the water. This place is beautiful. Guys, if you ever been or if you ever want to, I strongly consider Puerto Vallarta as a beautiful place to visit, but that's beyond the point. If you guys have any real estate related uh, things yeah, that you want to have answered, any questions, you want to buy a house, you want to sell your place and buy another place, guys, my information is below. Just consult me. Get a free consultation. It's it's free. And I want to help you get to where you want to be. So again, this is Javier Hurts Auto Realtor. You guys have a beautiful day, beautiful night, and I'll catch you later, guys. Peace and love.